Okay everyone, Resident Evil Death Island has just arrived, so let's take a look and talk about the movie. Here we have Resident Evil Death Island. I love this cover. It comes with a Blu-ray and digital. I'm going to be using it, but it looks like it's some sort of form of a liquor. And then all these characters meeting for the first time with Claire and Chris Redfield, Jill Valentine, Resident Evil 3 Jill Valentine. Uh, Rebecca Chambers and Leon S. Kennedy. What I love here on the side is that it matches the previous Resident Evil movies including the live action so when you put it on the shelf it's all gonna match. While it doesn't come with a slipcase I'm not really complaining because the 3 CG movie collection was just the case by itself but I love this. Special features. Genesis of Deaf Island motion capture set tour. I love those. Designing Death Island. Jill Valentine the return voicing Death Island and the birth of Deaf Island design gallery. So yeah, pretty much all these characters meet up for the first time in Resident Evil history. Almost all of them did in Resident Evil 6, except for Jill, I think, but it's cool how this takes place on Alcatraz Island, and again, has a villain return from Resident Evil Vendetta. Inside, you have a digital code, and if you use your digital code on your copy of 4K, DVD, or Blu-ray, you also have a chance to redeem some Sony rewards. Those are great. I got some great movies like Last Action Hero and Lords of Dogtown with my Sony Rewards a couple of releases back with Bram Stoker's Dracula. But here is the disc. It's the same as the cover image. Overall, not bad. Yeah, I like this set. I like it a lot. This is a wonderful Blu-ray set that's going to go well with everyone's Resident Evil collection. I know it's going to make me happy as a video game and film collector of Resident Evil. Overall, Resident Evil Death Island was a lot of fun. Uh, it's more straightforward than some of the previous movies, but the animation, characters, and story are really well thought out, you know. If anything, this is much better than Welcome to Raccoon City or the Netflix series. This is a return to form. Hardcore fans will appreciate this, even though it's more or less more of the same. But it was great seeing our Avengers-like moment. You know, the trailer showed a bit of it with all of our protagonists together for the first time. And what I really loved was seeing Jill Valentine in canon post Resident Evil 5. They explained that the experimentation done by Wesker slowed her aging. So that's why it looks like Resident Evil 3 Jill. And I like that Jill. And it was great seeing how she works with Leon S. Kennedy. They never met face to face before seeing her and Jill, see Rebecca Chambers. It was nice seeing Chris and Claire together. Just seeing all the characters together is just something special. And if anything, this is a nice follow-up to Resident Evil Vendetta. It takes place after Vendetta and after Resident Evil 6, but before Resident Evil 7. So I think it's like in 2015. It's pretty good. We have one of the villainous, or should I say the, the villainous from the last movie return, but there's a new villain who actually has a pretty good motivation that goes back to the beginnings of the Resident Evil uh, timeline from Resident Evil 2. And I like that. This also included some great bonus features with the motion capture and everything, and the story of Jill and the voices and how they came up with the story. In addition to Dolby Audio, it doesn't have an Atmos trap, it has audio. And overall, this is a solid film for any Resident Evil fan to check out. Is it going to be bigger and better than some of the previous ones? I think the previous ones had a bit more action. But this one, the action actually starts right out of the gate. Like, it's action-packed from start to finish but there are more slower character moments and I like that because we really do get to spend more time with the development of each of our protagonists and the villain. It's just a little simple, you know. It's on Deaf Island. It's not too scary, to say the least. I thought it was going to be like maybe Resident Evil Revelations 2 or Revelations or even like the original game in the mansion. It doesn't have that feel in Alcatraz, but it's a cool setting nevertheless. We do get scares with zombies, becoming zombies without getting bitten. Like, it has some new stuff, but it's just a little simple compared to the previous ones. But overall, it's up there with the previous CG movies. I mean, it's not going to be anything groundbreaking, but I think hardcore fans really like this. And I don't know if they're going to make it anymore, but if not, this is a nice epilogue to the CG trilogy they have already. Um, yeah, I kind of wish they would just remake Resident Evil 1 in a CG movie. Like, that would be cool just to see, like, a canon movie from the video game developers in a complete CG movie. Almost like a sequel, uh, like Final Fantasy VII Advent Children or something like that, you know. But um, overall, this is a solid Blu-ray. 
Let me know which edition of Resident Evil Death Island you got. This will be a fine addition to my collection. And let me know what you thought of the film. In the meantime, you can check out these other Resident Evil videos for more content. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Till next time.